My name is David Liu, and I'm from Lindbergh High School in San Jose, California. So my project was uh, a smarter search engine that actually recognizes the concepts inside images. So just as a human might describe a picture in terms of building, sky, or trees, my algorithm can actually understand these contents in, in images. So I created this uh, dynamic browsing system for looking at a large collection of images. And here you can see that it's automatically organized by similarity. Uh, this is a spring graph, so you can drag these images around and it'll automatically rearrange it. When I click an image, you can see the picture and its annotation. So this red actually corresponds with buildings, and the system uses this knowledge to find more images of buildings. It's also able to search uh, by any combination of keywords. So if I wanted images of sky, water, and trees, I can move the selector around uh, to get pictures of sky at the top, water on the left, trees on the right, and now I can look for images of sky and collection of images automatically organized by similarity. Uh, each of these clusters represents a different concept. So it, uh, the way it comes up with this clustering is by connecting each image with a simulated spring to the, its five most similar images. And the result is that similar images attract each other while other ones repel. So it also makes it very dynamic because you can drag things around and uh, it'll automatically reposition them. But if I choose an image here, you can see the region and its annotation. Yeah, but what if, what if, for example, this is your image and then you have a picture of a person, which is another whole mm -hmm. category, taken in front of this building, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, and you want to organize by faces in one instance and by, and which, which, and one of the pictures doesn't have a face and the other one does. Well, in this case, you can um, draw a bounding box around the concept that you actually want that to look want, at. And then you'll, and then you'll, you'll reorganize it. Right. Okay, that's very good. So when I click a picture, you can see the region, its annotation. Yeah. Red corresponds to buildings. So it, uh, it sees. Well, you can file these pictures two or, in two or three places simultaneously, I assume, or no? Um, well, actually, yeah, because uh, it comes up with probabilities for each of the different concepts. Okay. So then it uh, finds the other images that are also that also contain the same concepts. Right. And if I click um, here, I can actually look for images with any combination of three concepts. Okay. So here are images of um, sky at the top, water on the left, yeah. and trees on the right. Yeah. And then I can look for images of sky and water sky and trees, and all three at the same time. And if I want a greater proportion of the sky in the image, then I just move it closer to that side of the triangle. That's terrific. Thanks. What uh, hardware and software what, what hardware and software did you use? Uh, well, in this case, um, I'm just running it on my laptop right here behind uh, the board. Oh, okay. Oops, sorry. Um, and I wrote this visualization interface in Java. Uh -huh. uh, I'm using uh, like the pre-fuse library for displaying a spring graph. My analysis algorithm is in C++, and I also have a little bit of Perl in there for analyzing the data and the results. Wow, okay. How long did it take the whole thing, end, end to end, to build? Uh, I've been working on image retrieval for two and a half years now, actually. I started out by implementing the uh, direct comparison based on colors and textures, but uh, each year I added something more to make it uh, more accurate. And uh, in the last year, that's when I started researching semantic retrieval or understanding the meaning of images and creating this um, dynamic browsing application. Great.